I'm happy to be with you today. I know it's not easy for some of you. With the, uh, with the sickness and the problems you might have. And I want to tell you that God really cares about you. God is a loving God. That, you know, when uh, we see that human parents love the children. You have your ch parents that love you. We see that human parents love the children. That's because God is love and He put His love into parents. Have you experienced love from your mother? Yes. And that is from God. And even the animals, the mother will take care of the children. So, we, uh, in order to be you know, blessed by God and healed by God, when we have faith in Him, believe that He is loving you right now, you can experience more healing. So it's very important that we know that God is love. He knows your situation and He cares about you. Uh, I want to share for me in 1998 an evangelist laid on me and I experienced great power entering me like electricity. And then I experienced the love of God at the same time. It was very strong, very powerful. And I cried for a long time. And after that, I spent a lot of time praying. And one day, I cried to Jesus. I said, Jesus! And power went through me. I said, that is wonderful. I can experience God right away when I pray. I cried again, Jesus! And his power went through me again. So I experienced his reality more. reality. For these couple of days I prayed for many people here. And some of them share that they experienced power entering them. They experience uh, peace and calmness and comfort of the body. I want to tell you that this is from God. Not because of us. It's from God. But how can we have this power to bring healing? When we believe that God is love. And every day you say, Oh, Jesus, you are loving me. Can you ask him, ask them to say after you? So now I'm going to explain to them this is a prayer of grace. And in this prayer, we declare the love of God, the blessings of God to us. This will help you to have faith in God. I'm going to say that this prayer and, and then please follow Him when He interprets. And then you really believe 
and do that every day. I will find you kila sing. Okay, let's let's try now. If you can stand up, will be better. What a what a beautiful. And really believe in your heart. Okay, we'll start now. And you say after him. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus, for caring for me. Asante bwana Yesu kwa kunijali. Jesus is right here blessing me. Yesu yuko mali hapa kunibariki. Yesu yuko mali hapa kunibariki. Jesus is in front of me and behind me. Yesu yuko mbele yangu na nyuma yangu. Yesu yuko mbele yangu na nyuma yangu. Jesus is laying his hand on me to bless me. Yesu ananiwekeza mikono yake kunibariki. Yesu ananiwekeza mikono yake kunibariki. Jesus wants to do great things in my life. Yesu anataka kufanya mambo makubwa kwa ajili ya maisha yangu. Yesu anataka kufanya mambo makubwa kwa ajili ya maisha yangu. Jesus wants to bless me. Yesu anataka kunibariki. Yesu anataka kunibariki. Jesus wants to heal me. Yesu anataka kunifunya. Yesu anataka kunifunya. I can thank Jesus. Naweza kushukuru Bwana. I thank you Jesus. Nakushukuru Bwana. Nakushukuru Bwana. I love you Jesus. Ninakupenda Bwana. Ninakupenda Bwana. You are precious to me. Wewe ni muhimu katika maisha yangu. Wewe ni muhimu katika maisha yangu. And we are precious in your sight. Asisipia ni madhamana mbele zako. Asisipia ni madhamana. Thank you Jesus for loving me. Asante Bwana Yesu kwa kunipenda. Welcome Jesus. Karibu Bwana Yesu. Jesus is loving me now. Yesu anatenda wakati. Jesus is blessing me. Yesu anatibariki. Yesu anatibariki. I can rejoice in Jesus. Naweza kupata furaha katika Bwana. Naweza kupata furaha katika Bwana. Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. Please receive it. Now I want you to say a couple Bible verses to help you. Oh, I want to share one more thing. Uh, after I experience the Holy Spirit, the first time I experienced healing for people uh, when I pray for them, I went to a church to preach. And I prayed for the people afterwards. And I asked them what they experienced. And one woman jumped up. And she said, my backache is healed. And another woman jumped up. And said her shoulder pain was healed. Then I realized the promises in the Bible can come true today. Jesus can heal today. Now this is in Isaiah 53 verse 5. By his stripes we are healed. The Roman soldiers used the word to whip Jesus. And really hurt Jesus. And this verse said by his stripes how he was hit by the word. He took our sickness. And we can be healed. And then in Mark 16, 17 to 18. And Jesus said, These signs will follow those who believe. Those who believe in Jesus will have this miracle. In my name they will cast out demons. 
kemea mapema. And they lay hand on the sick and the sick will be healed. And Jesus has promised that to us. After that incident, I pray for many people, there have been many healings. One I want to say is, Jesus can heal. Amen. 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 It's not me, but I experienced his healing power. I saw a cancer patient healed. I saw one person with a, a stroke and one half of her body could move well. And after the prayer, she could move it well and raise up her legs and her arms. I saw a person with a leg ache for over 10 years. And she was healed totally after the prayer. And her hands also shake for maybe 40 years. And it was also healed by Jesus. So when you pray to Jesus, believe that Jesus is loving us. Don't say, Jesus, where are you? Actually, Jesus is right here blessing you. He wants to bless you. When you have faith, you can experience His presence. Now some of you may experience a peace and calmness entering you. Or comfort over your body. I'm going to ask you too, after I pray for you, what you have experienced. To let you know, to encourage other people that you can experience the presence of God. When you have faith, then God can do more healing. So uh, at this point, I'm going to pray for you, but we'll first have a prayer together. And I hope you say, you know, pray that prayer of grace I just uh, told you about. We'll do this prayer again. But believe in your heart, Jesus is standing right in front of you, blessing you.